Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in automation LCV 4.3 Ellisbury update. It is finally here. This is the, uh, well, it's the closed beta version, but that is the release version of the game. We did it after almost a year of working on it. Holy shit. Well, here we go. So let's uh, see where this game is going. We just got a... Uh, a bit of, of solid ground under our feet for our little uh, Jana Grad group uh, autosave um, company. So we're going to continue right there and uh, see, see what we can do. If we can get out of the hole that uh, we were in, well, it wasn't too deep a hole. I mean, the, the credit score of B, that's still... We, we were running lean after our child slave labor that was unionizing and uh, screwing us over got sorted out uh, we, we are doing pretty well and now producing at the shift limit and not keeping up that is looking very positive so first thing I'm going to do is to allow this to go higher <laughs> let's see let's see if we if we can uh, go a little beyond what we had uh, is this now set? Yes. 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Whew. It's going to be interesting. How quickly can we fill these shifts too? Um, it is likely going to worsen our build quality because we are hiring new staff. And as we hire new staff, that staff experience gets dilute diluted. And that is actually something that is calculated. So uh, let's see if that changes things. We're currently selling at 30% markup. It's very healthy, and as you can see, we have managed to lower our overall sales price significantly. And that is probably why it's going pretty well. Uh, yeah, two shifts looks about like what we would need. But also something that I noticed after the last episode is this. Look at these insane ratings we have here. That is why I chose the uh, luxury radio and focused so much on... Um, our reliability, that's the word I was looking for, so that we can gain reputation. Because if we take a look here in the sales breakdown, you shall see that, uh, let's just choose Ahana. Where is our company? We are getting in a uh, demographic that doesn't even really care about things, we are getting almost 10% extra desirability from our reputation and prestige. That is not to be underestimated. That's pretty big. Oh, average market prestige is 26 in Ahana at the moment. Can that be true? 26? What do our cars have? Ah, uh, have they started to get some, some actual entertainment and interiors? <laughs> wow. Well, good on them. Uh, let me take a look at our cars at the moment and see what stats we do have. Uh, here we have, well, we're below that. Oh, that might be for the entire market, not Ahana. Maybe the display is wrong because I can't imagine uh, there being a lot higher values than this as an average. Yeah, it's unlikely because there are also older cars in there. Should we try to start some of the research? Oh, look, we have spotted the green wave. It is way behind us, but uh, slowly catching up because Ahana is getting some places. Now that borders are opening up, they are slowly experiencing a flow of new tech into the country. What would we like to have the most? Probably going for something expensive to start us out with because the lab costs at the start are for the first few points that you invest are really damn low. It Lab costs are dependent on how many branches you choose in research. If you take a plus one to everything, that will have huge lab costs and pretty low total R&D costs, but you just need such huge facilities and material and like everything that this will be very expensive. Uh, but if you really just focus on on one, you see you have a tiny lab cost and a very high R&D cost. It's quite deliberate that. Um, and I think at this point, you can probably afford to go for a plus one in interior. 
That is never wrong, really. Although, do we need anything else? I think we're happy with the engine that we've built. We've put quite a lot of engine architecture points into it. Uh, at plus four, was it? Yeah, I think so. And safety, nah, not really in Ahana. So I think interior, that's a good freebie to have. Oh, by the way, one thing, one little hint here for you. Don't underestimate this one. It's reasonably cheap and you can put quality into your bodies. And if you do, um, you, you will get a decent chunk of extra stats. So I think I'm going for this one next. And this also unlocks new bodies earlier. So, Karob, how has the release gone? Well, um, really well, so far at least. Really damn smooth. That's uh, astonishing. Oh, what? What? Staff employed? 140, okay. New staff per month? Ah, okay. That's not the factory shifts, that's the target shifts? Is that right? Target shifts? Minus six. We are producing some more cars. Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay, so target shifts have jumped up to two and now we are hiring staff. Oh yeah, right, we did take out a loan. I forgot about that. Yes, that's uh, still have to pay it off over 10 years, but we wanted to get as close to Fruinia unlocking as possible. Uh, I think that's fair. Uh, I'm going to just let it run until the until start of 54 and then I'm going to start a new facelift. Oh yeah, you, you can see the effect that I was mentioning. It has dropped to 9% from 10. Now it's slowly gaining. Yeah, staff employed. Yeah, you can see that rise. It's really good. Okay. This needs to go to 400% or something? I think so. And we're slowly getting rid of the extra stock. That's beautiful. Extra production. 250 cars delivered. Wow. And now we are actually slowly losing prestige because our cars aren't that prestigious anymore. Yes, the luxury radio has seen the best of its days. But you know what makes me happy? Seeing that this mechanic actually worked with the experience that this one dropped because we hired new staff that was inexperienced. Ah, do you see this? The red curve was dominating all the time, right? Was dominating. But now it is crossing over and actually going down. This is the big cycle of a country. So it will, Ahana started out at its peak, basically, compared to the other nations. And now they are going to slowly decline. <laughs> and we hope that we are the rats on the sinking ship that find that tire that floats them to an island that's called Fruinia. Well, Vianta would be the island, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, yes, let's uh, prepare to jump ship in the 1960s. New facelift time! And uh, it's the Mark III, Mark IV. Of course it is. But before that, we are going to... Oh. Should we try to make another trim? <laughs> uh, maybe a no, true Ahanan sports car. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty powerful. <laughs> I, I don't know if we can make it on this body necessarily. Uh, let, let's have a quick look, but uh, we would also need to have a different engine for it. This is running eco carbs. I don't think that's necessarily the best basis for it. New engine facelift. Here we go. We update this one only. Agree, activate, and change it around. It's the baseline version can we do we want to not can we we can uh, do we want to make it a little larger now I think we can go with the times and um, yeah I'd probably do a 1.6 liter something like that yes maybe we can rev it to 4.8 if we wanted to, so 4.7 is the target here. That's looking good as well. And no change in qualities. Uh, do we want to go even one higher? And that's uh, 0.6 production units extra. And 
well, 22 bucks, I think we can <laughs> stem that. And some engineering time, but I think that's fair. Uh, that's all good. And now for the exhaust. Ah, yes. I think this is where we are going to lose some engineering time for sure. Going to switch up to reverse flow. And we did have 32 already for the familiarity for this one. But yeah, starting from scratch there again. Now let's take a look at the flow. Mm, that one needs to get a little larger. Or does it? Yeah, which one is better? Do we need the high-end power? The incredible amount of power that we're getting from this engine. Almost 40 kilowatts. Nah, I think the overall tune is still pretty solid. Don't need to change any of that. And the compression also good. But we wanted to check out fuel. Let it 92. Uh, Let it 92 does exist in the lure. So I don't know why those bastards don't want to buy any of our cars. Once we get to the Ferenian market, I do want to have a sporty version of this thing, <laughs> of this engine. That does require us to invest a little into uh, re-engineering it though. And I think I'm going to start with that now because right now we are selling well. We don't have any additional pressures on us because we're performing reasonably well. I mean, our car could require would require some more prestige to not fall off the cliff of our company prestige that is currently really high. Uh, unnaturally high, I have to add. But um, I, I think what we could do is to um, make a clone of this and make a sports version already now and put it into our portfolio, but then not produce it so that it's pre-engineered once we do the facelift in 1960 exactly, when Fringer is opening up and we can have a really quick turnover for our cars. It's probably still going to be based on this, this model, maybe, maybe not. So let's clone it and let's call it the Sporty. I think it's the, is it the MK3? MK3, yes, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is correct. I have correctly edited. So, uh, basic, yes, Sporty. And this is probably not going to be 1.5 liter, but le let's, have a, let's have a look. It might have to be smaller than that. So we do want to have a decent chunk of bore on this one. And a, a less so chunk of stroke. So over square. Hell yeah. And then we're going for lightweight. Ooh. Mm, we need to sort out some torque issues. Oh, and then we need to sort out some... <laughs> oh, wait, Conrad. We can go for cast Conrad. Okay, that's not destroying anything. That's good, because there's a light piston on it. So, uh, 5,400, that's looking good. How was it with this? Yeah, just ever so slightly higher. That's cool. Um, can live with this. This is a decent, re decently revving engine, I would state. Let's see, good good amounts of torque. We're not going to make much more than this. Uh, push rod after all. So basically as you push it up in the rev range, you're not definitely not gaining any torque there. Um, so we should be on the safe side. That's a good combo to hit because that one is still the same. We have to re-engineer this and this. Yeah, it's fine. Don't have to change quality. I think we're going with 45-ish. Are you kidding me? Did it even change anything? Wow, look at how bad this is. Like, you go from there to here. Like, you basically only lost things, not gained anything. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, we need to rev higher. Otherwise, it's not sporty. There we go. Oh, we're making too much power. Um, going to leave this as is. This is being so hard, choked so hard. Oh my god, it's bad. It's bad. Let's go for... Oh, we do have plenty of familiarity with this, so we could go for a twin carburetor. Much more sportiness here. Fuel map, 65. And... Oh. I think we're going to drop this one down to zero. These are all over the place. And also, we do need to go for mid. This is what is strangling the engine. This is the, 
<laughs> it's the manifold and the headers. Uh, stand at mid, yes, stand at mid. We do have some familiarity in it because we were making stand, uh, cast low already. Mm, do we want to give this a baffled instead? Yeah, I think so. And make this larger. Yeah, this is looking way better. Carb size, you need to be smaller, much smaller. And maybe we just go for one. No, you need to be larger. <laughs> There, there we have it. But now there is power stress. Oh no. Power reliability threshold. That will improve over the years, over the next six years. Okay, looking good. That's 51 kilowatts, almost. If we round nicely. Like I said, not supposed to be a production engine. It's way too unreliable for that. For, it would destroy our company's reliability ratings. Probably don't want that. Oh, that's actually a good point. Uh, do we even want to release such a thing? That would potentially harm our reputation. This takes a while. 26. Oh, and we still had to up the tooling. Oh my. Oh my. What, what, oh, I think I want to delete this again. Look at it. It's horrendous. Ouch. 43. Now, we first have to normalize our um, our tooling setting. So, uh, Sporty, you are possible. You will be possible. Let's engineer you when we are making a new model for everyone. I think what I'm going to do is the following. Um, in two years time, roughly, I'm going to engineer a new car. And this one is going to be engineered along with it. And then uh, it's going to come out on the first uh, month of 1960 so that it can be sold into a Freenia. Oh well, it can't be sold into Freenia at that point, but we can then facelift immediately and basically just do a repeat, six months or so and then get this one on the way. So, boop, you go away and now let's see, is this better? You what? Still 20. What? Ah, yeah, well, that's why. <laughs> The family had to be re-engineered really hard to um, make it mass producible. That's the answer. There you have the answer. So it's only going to be a slight increase here. Everything is working as intended. It's just uh, that it's not good for us. So not 18 months. Yeah, that's fine. Our current facelift is going strong after all. And we can get some more fun. Wow, that's, that hurts. Funding hurts. Um, then we can learn a bit more. 18. There, perfect. Factory? Do we need to repair our factory? By the way, countries do have weather. And Ahana isn't known for the smoothest of rides. So uh, they have quickly deteriorating factories. Dalua is one of the finest and nicest places you can imagine. So you won't see much decay in your factory building uh, hit points. But... Yes. Also, this is, of course, all hidden. <laughs> you don't know about it. Uh, and that's not good. Not great. But what, what are you supposed to do? There's so much information in this game. Um, can't, can't show it all at the, at the time. But, uh, yeah, oh, yes, you can. But we'll, it does take a long time to make UI for it and stuff. And uh, factory size. So, one, we stay at one. We don't need to upgrade our engine factory. We're only producing the basic. Uh, but wait a second, if that, if that was just the tooling that was costing so much, should we try to remake the Sporty real quick? I think we could. Huh. I'm not so sure I like the general setup of the valve flow versus um, general squareness of the engine. So you see that we're not utilizing flow optimally here. And I would like ideally to have the light blue line also be at around 100%. That would give us optimal um, flow for the 100% mark. But we're not going to squeeze each and every single percentage out of this engine after all. It doesn't matter. Oh, we have the Sporty and the base. So now let's take another look here. It is 32 now. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, oh, wait a sec. I didn't change the quality of the fuel system. No, I did. Ah, damn it. 
Alright, two years. Yeah, you can make that work. Okay, the way it works is follow the following. As your main building hit points are deteriorating, your main tooling, the major tooling, is deteriorating faster. I think I'm going to wait for another round. This is fine. 84, ah, just a few holes in the, in the roof. That's, the little bit of rain has never caused any issues to the electrical equipment in our factories. So now we have to spruce up our little car here that is from the ancient days. Uh, it's a 1940s body. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't know if the Ferenians mind, <laughs> but the Ahanans sure don't. So it's fine. It's fine. This is the last facelift. And then we're going to make a new one from like 1950 or something <laughs> instead. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, this is... Oh, this is at zero already. That's good. Um, I'm trying to find places where we can improve this one in all kinds of terms. Like 24 prestige. We're, uh, yeah, we're mainly aiming for the reliability. This is our big thing here right now. Like, Ahana loves this. Afrenia also quite into the reliability. They are not uh, not super wealthy. But um, we need to find some stuff to make this better. I think one point of quality here could do nicely. Even two? Uh, the one point makes a big difference. The second one, not so much. Okay, let's leave it at plus one. Oh, we have new brakes. Uh, how does that work for brake fade? Excellent, excellent stuff. Okay, that's a good upgrade. And another point of quality. Really enhances our stats because everything is brake fade. And now we are really splurging. Look at this, plus one quality on our luxury AM radio, which now costs below 300 bucks and standard interior 700. So I think that's, that's fair. Ah, now we could take a jump. Safety, 1950s. I'm changing up my family utility vehicle to be more of a wagon. Standard wagon, no longer having the uh, nine seats, but rather just five. Nice, okay, that's it. Lineup done. Uh, you what? <laughs> Whoops, okay, I think we need to change up a few little things here and there. This is not quite what I was aiming for. Instead, I'm going to give them a plus one in quality here, which nets them a minus one in quality overall. Thanks, Ahana. And now? Ah, much better. A little bit more tooling. A little bit more process, a little bit more reliability, a little less funding, and even less pressure. That will make them happy and reliable. I'm not sure how adventurous we are upgrading our factory already, <laughs> as we are just having a two-shift success story going for us. I, I don't think we're quite ready for that just yet, are we? It is not too expensive, though. It's just 6 million, as you see. 1.4 there. Gotta, gotta fix the building at some point anyway, so... Could use it for this. Four months of downtime. We can build stocks, though, so I think it's fine. Hmm, what do we do for the range of shifts? Oh, and why doesn't this change? Why doesn't this update? Does it only... What? This should update. Ah, oh, why aren't you doing that? Oh, it updates for nothing. All right, uh, mm, that's fun. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> the figure that we have been staring at for so long. It has now uh, declined to just negative 1.5k, down from the original 4.5k. That's, that's beautiful. Has become a lot more expensive to produce. Hmm with all the quality in there and so on. But I think that's still worth it. If we aim at a 35% markup, we can calculate this one and... Plop, yep, there, that, that's that's looking more healthy. And to not build massive amounts of pre-orders, let's up it to 
Loans? No, I think I skipped that one. It's 18 million. It's a little dangerous, but I think we can stem this one if we continue selling reasonably well. 24, 24, all aligned. Let's sign it off. Oh yeah, we're making so much profit that even though we are in engineering here, we're not actually losing any money. 1955, we have got some uh, cars in stock now. Dropping in profit or revenue because we're not selling all of them. Economy is doing well. And let's take a look at the financial report. Car production is the most expensive item. Engineering, eh, decently expensive too. Uh, because we have probably going doing too many facelifts, to be honest. Like, this is, this is not a rate of facelifting that we need. But I do want to keep it up to uh, keep a good familiarity level with the te technologies. And make our jump into free a little easier. So... Um, that's looking good. A million a year for research. And a total plus of 194k. How much are we supposed to pay? 53k of taxes each month. <laughs> that's easy. No, no, not per month. That's that's actually in total. So I'm going to do my stock manager thing here again. Try to load them up. Uh, yeah, they are positioned reasonably well. I think I slipped them down one step further. That was one too many. That means uh, the shifts are going to be increased in order to meet that again, I believe. They are at 400% though, so... They still have that staff employed. Let's go. Cool. Um, so make, make use of it. Now, please give me some more cars. That will drop our revenue. Oh, they're running low on these. Could you please produce some more? Oh that bug again this changed length and they should not have <laughs> factory shut down for retooling um, yeah I think that means that we are now actually paying less than what we should now somehow they get redistributed and everything that goes before the line has is considered paid already hmm well that's not great well here we go I reported the bug. Let's see if we can reproduce this with the save game. I have my doubts, as this has been around for quite some time. It doesn't always happen. It's a bit of a bitch. So, um, here we go. Massive revenue. 840k, though. Wow. That's big. All right, and it also means we need to start the car that will conquer Freenia. Well, that's another four years. Yeah, yeah, we need to start it now so that we have plenty of reliability. Oh, this one is taking a hit. We were up at 17.9 as a maximum, I believe. 32, we're kind of staying there now. Yay, finally we are selling shit to <laughs> the lure as well. Look at that. Into the family. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, we've made a kind of family car with luxury radio on top of it. And we've already garnered some uh, proper reputation in the lure from the small efforts we have put in there. We've marketed a fair amount. That's uh, not the issue, but uh, we haven't sold anything for whatever reasons. I don't know. But, yep, this looks like a success. Fourth biggest company still. Ew, and now they're getting cheaty. Those filthy Freenians are starting to come into the lure if we turn this off there are no Del no Freenian selling there but if you look here whoa <laughs> okay oh man poor the and companies well they don't have a heavy delivery vehicle so the Freenian company coming in there is like uh yo what's up 81% <laughs> market share we don't have those problems just yet because we don't allow filthy Freudians in our country. But uh, we're going to try to do the same to them, of course. Um, it's making the campaign so much more enjoyable when you see what's going on behind the behind the curtain like this. Like the, the company is actually trying to establish a market. That's also new in this Ellisbury version. That uh, They are slowly trying to 
grab market share. In this case, with Delua and Fronia, it seemed to be a pretty straightforward deal for the industrial delivery vehicles and stuff. But 5% still not what I'm aiming for. These 53 here look much more promising. They are basically using the same, same one as I do. It's the Mark III. They are on their last little facelift. They're all based on 1941, 1940 vehicles, so yeah. Uh, interesting. What are their stats? Uh, how do they get 50 drivability? Holy shit. Probably have loads of uh, tech pool also. That would help. And... Yeah. No, they're, they're pretty solid. I mean, comfort is down the toilet. And look at their reliability. Yes. Yes, that's where we have the big advantage. They have just 61. It's reasonably high, but uh, not as high as our good stuff here. No, what? 62? Do we have the same? That can't be true. Oh, is this showing the reliability before engineering? Well, coming to think of it, we might have some issues there coming up in the 60s because Froenia, of all places, that is going to open up has the harshest emission standard in the world. So they are going to be a bit of a, of a crybaby when it comes to a Hanan uh, big muscle, like 1.6 liter <laughs> tanky I-4s. <laughs> no, we should be pretty good there. Um, but let's have a look at the emissions. Ah, yeah, okay, this is the, indeed the value that has been given, 62. And we want to go to detailed stats and fuel economy. Uh, okay, well, carbon monoxide is a bit of an issue. Oh, I can see why. I can see why. We are no longer class between class 1 and class 2 because we've upgraded our power. Yes. Look at this. In, on, on this test, we are producing 9,900. If we were just LTP, uh, WLTP plus one because that requires a lot less throttle uh, and but now we have so much power that we are in between these two classes and I have the linear combination of these emission values and that means we're not passing anything <sighs> okay well uh, could potentially pass if we lowered our power significantly enough we could pass down to 17,000. Is this the l l limiting thing? Yeah, HC is passing anyway. So uh, that's easy. 2,000. We wouldn't be passing this one. Four. So we would easily pass number four. And probably also... Yeah. Yeah, we would pa pass the Nox. So we would be Wes 4. We would be good until 1975. And in Ahana, we would be good until 1989. So, yep, having more power, not always great because you're getting into uh, higher emissions classes or test classes. They're yeah, driving different cycles. And those are accuracy simulated with the accurate stats for power to weight ratios, by the way. But you know what? This has going, been going really damn well. Definitely out of the whole expansion already underway and we're preparing our launch into Farinia. I'm looking forward to uh, getting into the emissions uh, seasons <laughs> because at the start in Farinia with our negative tech on top of everything we are not going to have catalytic converters. We're going to struggle a little unless we do some some really cheesy as they did in reality some really cheesy low-powered uh, shit boxes that uh, that do pass. A bit of a challenge coming up. And I hope you enjoy. And see you guys next time. <laughs>